It's supposed to be nice, bright yellow, but after a while, that's just the color it is. <laughs> From all the paint jobs, right? Okay, now, now you can come back and drop back and paint the rest of the door. If the guy's got the hinges done. See, that's why I, that's why I wanted to fix all the all of my doors first before these guys came in. That way, I didn't have to manhandle doors after they were pre-painted, pre-finished, or repainted. Get my grubby fingerprints on them, and I wiped off all the hinges and all that black stuff that that was stuck on the door frames and stuff. I did that last night. I didn't get out of here until oh, 8 o'clock. I had to do all these doors downstairs and I did all the doors upstairs. Four hinges on one side I had to clean and then on the other side and wiped down the edges of the, uh, the door panels where that black stuff was coming over so they could put their masking tape on there and it wouldn't fall off and they didn't they didn't have to drop that and do all the cleaning that I I could do for them. Yeah. Nice job. The back edge of the door casing there. Looks like he knows what he's doing though. Oh. Yeah. Said you've been doing this for 14 years? Yeah. Yeah? I was a foreman for about 100 painters. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Painting away. So put two coats, two coats on the doors, too. This is the first coat, the way back and forth. I don't know if I would feel comfortable doing this on my own, renting a rig like this or buying one of those little ones from Home Depot, you know, a Wagner or something, but I guess you could if you felt so inclined, but at least you know what the process is. Do this first before the walls, you know? It happens with small bits. I'm just going to extend this video a little bit because you might think this is interesting watching this. I think it is. Okay. So that's his, that's his first coat. He's just going to have to jump back on that after a little bit.